Now, let's talk about Nat Nat saying she going to slap, slap, biggie, biggie. <laughs> let's watch some crazy stuff, yo. What's good, y'all? It's your girl, Lace Tour. We're back up in this thing with another video. Child. Let's go ahead and get into this drama. So, let's start off with Animax saying that Jonathan is going to whoop Saucy Santana. At the end of the day, Saucy, count your fucking blessings. I hope they bring you back for this reunion. Because I promise you, you're not beating Jonathan. We're going to violate you. No. You're getting beat down to the ground. Your big ass going to be out of breath. You talking about some catch your breath. You couldn't catch one all night. You were sitting in the... No, cat. It's hot. No, cat. The gotta... nigga couldn't catch his breath all night. And you talking about me catch a breath? You talking about me catch... Girl, why aren't you bringing Jonathan into this? Is, is it because Saucy clocked the hell out y'all's tea? I mean, clocked it. Okay. The thing about Saucy being one of the hosts is that he don't give a shit. He's watched the show. Are you mad that when Nunu came out, he so kindly parented you out? He said, over there. She, there she go, over there. Is that why you mad? I don't understand why Biggie is talking because <laughs> Nat already done said she was going to slap your fat ass. So, like... Biggie, baby, I tried to ride for you so much, but your mouth, your mouth is the reason why J.O. smacked the confessa out your mouth. Like, why are you trying to get Jonathan involved? That makes no sense. I, I just feel like it's because he clocked all y'all's tea. That's why whenever um, Jayla was getting scratched up by Big Gretch, Scotty was like, no, she's scratching her. They're fighting. That's why Saucy said, so, move. Because that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> so what I'm getting out of this is that you bitches is mad that somebody is clocking y'all's tea and somebody ain't up there kissing y'all's asses. Janisha might be up there, but she's up there being professional. We needed Saucy because he said everything that us, the viewers who pay $7 to watch this shit wanted to say so thank you saucy and and if it does come to that uh i feel like jonathan will get dragged because how you gonna try to beat up somebody for doing their job <laughs> that's like somebody going in there and trying to beat him up because he do wigs bitch okay anywho now let's talk about nat nat saying she gonna slap slap biggie biggie <laughs> She said she gonna slap a fat ass. I said, damn. Uh, 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 now see, Biggie, I was gonna come to your defense until they came out and said what really was see what really happened. So you was mad that they was playing Stunner Girl on the stage when y'all was doing y'all little club appearance. <sighs> now, let me be logical first before I be me, okay? I get where she's coming from because Stunner has exposed all of the asses down to lemon pepper wings, okay? It has exposed all of them, okay? He tried to take the network down, okay? I mean, dragged all of them. All of them. That's when we found out that Scotty got something from Lemon Pepper because he kept sticking his Lemon Pepper in somebody else's batter. So I get why Biggie would be mad, but I don't think that's why she wanted them to not play Stunner. I think she is still pressed from Baddie's, was it South or, or was it West? She, it was one of them shits where, where uh, Stunner Girl and Biggie just, they just could not get along. Okay, they just could not get along. So, it just came off as like a little sour, a little bitter. And Nat Nat comes out and this is what she had to say about the situation. The fact that some of these blogs love to just make me look like the bad guy. I'm not the bad guy. So, I see a blog already going, posting a, a part of last night, making it look like I just said, um, shut the fuck up, you fat bitch, to, uh, to Biggie. Let me be very clear. And then I'm getting off this live because I only do the lives like once a month. Biggie snatched the mic last night, okay, in the club, and wanted, um, so, so some of the fans had asked me at, towards the end of the night 
to um, to play um, Krishan and Stunner Girl's songs. Hold on, guys, I'm live. I don't think it's an issue to play anybody's music, whether I like them or don't like them or whatever, if they're my besties or not my besties. I don't let this Hollywood shit become personal for me. Is that like, I don't understand why people want to make this shit personal. It's not personal. This is business. First and foremost, Krishan and Stunner Girl were both on my show. I'm still making money off of both of them and their records are cleared to play on my shit. So I don't give a fuck whether a bitch is my friend, not my friend. If I'm, uh, you know, it, it's not personal. I want to see all my baddies win. So for Biggie to snatch the mic and have the audacity, audacity. Now, Biggie, you should just sat back there and smoked your, your harmonica, your vape. You just should, should have sat back there and did what you did and collected that coin because it's giving pressed. Now, tu prima, your cousin, um, came out and said that y'all both was wrong. Your cousin, tu prima, Anna, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. She said you both was wrong. This is what Anna had to say. And respectfully, if anybody feel a way, they feel a fucking way. I really don't care, to be honest. I said this about both of them. I said, bitches always talking shit, who never want to fight. And that was for both of them. Natalie and Biggie are always fucking arguing. That's just something y'all need to know. And I do think they both should have handled that shit offline and not on the show. I don't think Biggie should even start. I think Biggie should express that to her off the stage. But hey, now we're here. It's neither here or there. But it is what it is, and I don't give a fuck. Y'all on Beyonce internet arguing with each other, talking my shit about each other, and I do think they should have just did that between themselves because it's like we all fuck with each other, and given the fact that we do fuck with each other, I do think Biggie should have pulled her aside and said something. But Biggie be in her feelings, Biggie be on that. I don't know what they be on. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. If anybody mad that I said that they always be talking and never fight, it's the truth. And that goes for Biggie Zoo. Y'all bitches, y'all bitches better fight each other now. I better hope to see it, because I hope y'all... Because if y'all doing all this shit right now on the gram and all that to not fight, it's actually ridiculous, because we're supposed to be fucking sisters. Exactly, insane and crazy, Jayla, because I don't understand. Like, we are sisters. This, this shit going too far now. This shit going too far. Look. I need for my best friend to defend me publicly, but give me that lashing privately. Like, if you tell me I'm wrong privately, but but if we going this hard in the show, we calling each other sisters and cousins, I'm going to need for you to ride for me in public, okay? But I get it. And that, that it is is the boss. It's the boss, okay? So she, I guess, I don't know, you know, she said both of them was wrong, but baby, you probably my cousin, you probably my homie, like, <laughs> what's it giving? And then it's like, girl, how many times is you going to let Natalie just disrespect you? She has been disrespecting you since we first seen you. Since we first knew who Biggie was, Nat Nat has been disrespecting you over and over and over again. And you cry about it over and over and over and over again. And then she said she finna slap you. Girl, if you don't use your manos and, and five fingers slap her across that chinny chin chin. Girl, I'm not finna keep taking no disrespect from somebody who got a planet orbiting around their chin. Okay? And I'm not gonna keep taking the disrespect. Okay? At this point, y'all gotta fight. And, and, and I feel like this is an equal fight because, child, neither one of them can fight. And to be honest, Nat Nat was running from Diamond the Body. Diamond the Body didn't even come to even address Nat Nat when she came to the um 
reunion. Natalie and her vanilla wafers hopped up and jumped over that couch. So I'm like, you not finna run up on me. You not, babe, you did all that talking up until the reunion. You didn't feel like catching that fade. No, you didn't feel like getting beat up. You got PTSD from the last reunion when E.T. clocks you in your chinny chin chin. Okay. But Chad, tell me what y'all think about the things that I talked about. I got another video coming and y'all will be surprised about what I just found out. Okay. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Like and subscribe. It's your girl, Let's Do Real. And we're out this thing. Let's watch some crazy stuff, yo.